Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about a comparison between two of the largest you can say two wheeler companies in India Hero Moto Corp and Bajaj Auto. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about the comparison, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and eke out answers in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list and number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. It goes up to, uh, it, it, you can pay $100 up front and you get a one year access by paying for 10 months. Uh, so that's a 20% discount for you. For detailed market or company talk or number of stocks you're having or a portfolio, you can directly email me and we can work things out with a fee. Now about this industry, the automobile industry in total. So the automobile industry has been under the cost since 2017. It has been under pressure and we have seen that from the end of 2017 or you can say third quarter of FY18, things have really become bad and 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 it has been a downhill journey for the industry you need to understand that first it was uh, the economic turmoil that india went through from fi 18 to fi 20 and then it was the pandemic that led to a total catastrophe of the industry altogether so what we saw was demand sluggish and then demand going down further and then virtually having no demand in in the months of april and may with or probably demand would have been there but uh, there was complete shutdown of India in terms of the industries etc and the manufacturing sector uh, had the brunt of the effect of uh, that uh, shutdown that we ha had in around 45 days 7 weeks of shutdown that we had in April and May of 2020 then slowly the recovery began uh, the industry as well as the overall uh, you can say business setup of India made a bottom around june of 2020 and then a recovery took place so uh so things are looking fine now it has been 18 months uh, since the turmoil uh, began and now things are picking up so i think over the next one year things will pick up even further you need to understand that the manufacturing sector has had uh, two headwinds one is because of this uh, localized shutdowns etc and and then with with a number of workers working at one place and and you cannot have a lot of social distancing when they are working in a manufacturing facility especially in an automobile company so majorly most of the ancillary uh, companies had to shut down plants so it cannot be that hero or a bajaj or, or these companies maruti etc just open up and they don't get the spare parts because these are the automobile ancillary companies that make the spare parts so there was a lot of trouble for the major automobile original manufacturers and that really percolated down with the numbers over the last uh, you can say four or five quarters uh, we have said we have seen that but things are beginning to turn around so majorly what has happened is that uh, the industry has not quite uh, been uh, served well uh, in terms of the pandemic that has gone through most of the industries have recovered but uh, the automobile industries have not and things are picking up and probably by Diwali next year we will see a completely different scenario. I am pretty confident that this industry will start to pick up big time and probably uh, next year's big industry could be the automobile one for one year. They could do extremely well. So competition is reducing as some companies are closing businesses in India. This is another reason where I feel I am very bullish from a 2-3 year point of view in this industry is that we have seen that unlisted players which are which were pretty decent in this market are shutting down shop because of lesser demand and this is also seeing a shift in type of vehicles from fuel to electric now this is something that these two companies have to take care of so what is happening is that electric vehicles are taking uh, shape ola is using electric vehicles there are many delivery you can say uh, companies like zomato etc who are using or trying to use 
electric vehicles so there is a shift happening i am not uh, ruling that out but it's going to take a, a couple of years three years and let's see which company comes out trump in this i mean bajaj and uh, hero both has have to do a lot in order to uh, make a mark in this segment and i'm sure being uh, one of the largest companies in this segment and one of them is the largest company in this segment they should be doing a lot in the background and must come up with something over the next uh, six months or so so that they capture the market in this space as well uh, both the companies are top class in the segment at the moment and i think going forward will continue to be yes a disruptor would be uh, the electric vehicle space maybe a new company comes around but it will be very difficult for something of that sort to happen I think that this is set to grow at greater pace the industry altogether as demand will only surge so I am talking of the automobile industry completely so there you have cars others uh, that have come in three wheelers also they are all going to do extremely well uh, say three quarters from now and you will see from second half of 2022 things really picking up in this space. If you look at the comparison, then here this this is the comparison in terms of market cap. Hero Motor Corp is half of what uh, Bajaj Auto is at the moment. In terms of margins, Bajaj Auto is doing much better, and probably that's why uh, it is being bought more in terms of market cap. We are seeing so eighteen percent margins versus thirteen percent is a big uh, difference in in such a competitive market like the automobiles. Uh, even 100 basis point 200 basis point different is considered decent or uh, say one percentage point is, is a huge thing here we have a difference of five percentage point and even in return on equity we are seeing a difference of one and a half percent uh, in Bajaj Auto which is at 20.2 percent versus 18.7 percent of Hero Motor Corp uh, but then the valuations comes in and there there lies the confusion because in Hero Motor Corp's uh, case, uh, we have 1.5 times uh, market cap to sales it is trading at, whereas Bajaj is trading at 3.2 times. So it is more than double of what Hero Motor Corp is trading at in terms of market cap to sales. Uh, there are, you can say, 55% institutional investment from in, in, in Hero Motor Corp, and there is only 24% or just over 24% FII DII investments. In Bajaj, but there are uh, individual investors, large in individual investors invested into Bajaj, and that's why you're seeing the surge in the stock as well compared to Hero. So numbers altogether are much better. It looks like in in Hero at the moment. Let's see what lies ahead. In terms of return on capital employed, again Bajaj has better numbers with twenty six percent. You can say R O C E. And stock is down 10% over the last 10, uh, 12 months. This is interesting. In Hero's case, stock is down 10% over the last one year. In the case of Bajaj Auto, it is up 27% over the last one year. This is because Bajaj has completely uh, dominated this space over the last two years or so. And before the pandemic as well with their other uh, kind of bikes, which have done much better than what a Hero is uh, doing at the moment. Uh, promoters are more invested into Bajaj with around 54% stake whereas Hero has around 35% stake which is less when you consider the kind of uh, you can say bandwidth the company has. Uh, Hero is trading around uh, 18 PE whereas Bajaj is at 21 PE so this, has, this is the complete scenario uh, in terms of comparison for both the company. So in terms of comparison, it looks quite confusing as to which company to pick. Uh, so I have made a slide in which uh, I talk about it in a nutshell as to uh, where to go ahead and invest into. Both the companies are having some parameters which are good in Bajaj Auto and they, we have some parameters which are good in, in Hero. So let's see uh, where the final uh, call lies. So in a nutshell, Hero is trading at reasonable valuations. So there's no doubt about it at the moment with kind of market cap to sales. So any any huge movement in terms of sales and profitability that Hero gives in, you'll see more percentage return in the stock. But Bajaj Auto looks slightly expensive, but growth is expected and growth has been happening there. 
uh, if you look at a three four year time frame Bajaj has done much better than hero and that's why the valuations have been uh, such as we see so future will be brighter for uh, the one which shifts to electric vehicles this is this is this will be interesting to see and that's why i won't go ahead and buy something at the moment in the elect in the vehicle space in the automobile mm-hmm. space this is the reason why i'm not delving into this because i believe that we, you need to wait it out and let's see let's have a clear picture as to uh, which company really comes out from maybe it is hero or bajaj or some someone else really comes up and beat these two so we could see competition from new players that's what i mean and and so the margins may shrink even further this is another reason why i am not invested long term into the automobile industry at the moment but both have decent institutional investment and that's a positive probably better to wait before investing in any of these that that's my call i think wait it out let's see which company either these two or uh, or something else really picks up pace and you can probably then in with all clarity invest into that rather than uh, you can say having a bet at the moment and then eventually making a lot of losses so my call is hero looks a better pick at these valuations but competition will increase going forward so this could be very interesting to see in the next one year what happens if you have bajaj out of from lower levels you can probably hold on to if you have hero at very lower levels yes you can hold on to but i think bajaj is a preferred pick in terms of valuations at the moment but i would say it's a better to look at other sectors rather than looking at automobile at the moment with 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 so much of you can say flux that is taking place so this is my video on the comparison of hero and bajaj please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching